The Travel Lodge Maiden Stakes is next up. This is a four mile maiden. Uh, at the top we've got Burt Brand for Alex Cherry. Black Look, Blackjack Lord, Jim Murray, Dark and Tribulation, James Shea, Grinick, Islander, Matt Cooper, Hooties Kulesi, Adam Old, Master Owen, Martin Lidham, Argyle Star, Paul Parsons, El Centro, Wonderful, Vinnie Gerard over the Clover, Padre Hogan, Stamp Island Hill, John Morgan, and Well Done Genie, David Robertson. Called in and away. Just the 11 in this one then. A short run to the first. Which they all got safer to the other side of. And they've got 25 more to get over. It's a short run to the second as well. And they're all safely over that one. With Stampard Land Hill, the early leader for John Morgan. And one of his front runners. This is the first of the ditches. And there's a fall of it, I think, is there? Yeah, Master Owen's gone. So that's mine departed already. As they get to the fourth. They're all safely over. And Stampard Land Hill. Here's a good four or five lengths clear of Black Jack Lord in second. That's the food you can see after the leader are virtually in a line. A bit of a raggedy line, but it is virtually a line. It's Stampard Land Hill, though. A John Morgan who seems to have got himself another bunch of front running horses this season. Started the season okay though. They get into this next one. They stood off that one. Got away with it. I still got over it okay. Dark and Tribulations just about showing second on the inside of Black Jack Lord. Tucked in between the, those two. El Centro Wonderful. Come up to the next then. And all safely over that one as well. Stampard Land Hill I'm going to lead them past the stand. Big crowd today. They go past the winning post and head out for another couple of circuits of the Royal Track, and it's Stampard Land Hill in the lead from Blackjack Lord on the outside of Dark and Tribulation. And El Centro Wonderful is after that one. Over the Clover is next, and I'll go start. Greenock Islander on the inside. And a bit of a gap to Weldon Genie. And Hootie's Kalesi. And finally, the one that's just a couple of them to drift is Burt Brand, the loose horse. He's running around with them unscathed. But it's Stampard Land Hill leads into this next one. Really jumped that one well. Jim Murray's horse stood off it and got, was lucky to get away with it. Dark and Tribulations moved up into second now. Just making a move towards that leading group now. He's over the clover. Argyle Star is also travelling nicely as they get into this next one. Which they all stream over. Stampard Land Hill continuing to lead by seven into this ditch. All over it safely. Bertrand, the back marker of Burt Brand. To the tenth. Again, all over it nicely. Let's get a little bit more strung out now as Stampard Land Hill continues to set a pretty tiff, pretty stiff pace for a four mile up. Still got two and a half miles to go. And Stampard Land Hill is six lengths clear of Blackjack Lord in second. Over the clover is third, El Centro, wonderful fall, then Dark and Tribulation just dropped back a little bit. Argyle Star is next, and then Greenock Islander with well done Genie. Hooters Kalesi as they get into the next one, and the one that's just getting a bit detached from the rest of them is Burt Brand. Over the twelfth. Into this ditch, which is number 13 of the 26, so. Half the jumping done now. Oh, we've lost a second one there. It's Hooties Kalesi that's gone this time. So two fallers then in the first half of the race. And Jim Morris once again gave that one an almighty wallop. But it's Stampard Land Hill who continues to show the way. Over the Clover has now moved into second. El Centro Wonderful is third on the outside of Blackjack Lord. Then Argyle Start. We've after that one Dark Hand Tribulation and Greenock Islander together. A couple of lengths behind them is Weldon Genie and Burt Brand is about 10 lengths behind that one. 
9 of the 11 remain as they get into the 15th. Stump on Lund Hill. Trying to make every post a winning one. Led all the way so far. We'll be coming up the straight now. Take the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And then head out for one more circuit of the track. So coming up past the post end now with a circuit to go. It's Stamford Land Hill in the lead. Over the Clover is second and Blackjack Lord is third. El Centro Wonderful is four. Argyle Star is five. Dark and Tribulation is sixth. Then Grinicor is seven. Well done. Genies after that one. And then Burt Brand is the back marker. And some wide drift as you can see, but continuing. the next end stamp the land he'll drop that one nicely so did the rest of them yeah, quite well strung out now stamp the land he'll still the leader over the clover second blackjack lord is in third El Centro wonderful next argyle star creeping a bit closer Let's see if this stamp our land hill has got the Stammering to see him home. To uh, John Morgan's horses earlier have just run out of steam in the final mile. But it's Stamford Land Hill who approaches the final mile. That's his first mistake, really. Not that one over the Clovers, getting closer in second. Blackjack Lord looks to be going ominously well in third. El Centro Wonderful is in fourth. Then Argyle Star and Dark and Tribulation with Greenock Islander and Weldon Genie next, and then some way back. Burt Brand. Stamper Land Hill. It's been pushed along there. All over the clover. Blackjack Lord. And Il Centro Wonderful and Argyle start. And Dark and Tribulation as they get over the next. He's kicked on again, this leader. And he's lengthening his lead if anything is according to this final ditch now, now getting well strung out but it's stamp at land hill comes into the third last with a clear lead gets over it nicely blackjack lord second then comes over the clover then a gap back to el centro wonderful and argyle star difficult to see anything else getting into it really four furlongs to go and two to get over and it's stamp at land hill has he got the stamina to see him home he's a good six lengths clear at the moment of over the clover in second blackjack lord is now starting to toil in third el centro wonderful fourth argyle star fifth then dark and tribulation that looks like the order they're probably going to finish it at the moment as they come down to this second last oh, when he really stood off that the leader and he got away with it though his lead has been cut down to about four or five the cameraman's concentrating on the Back markers when we should be looking at the leaders. It's Stamper Land Hill in the lead. Stamper Land Hill coming down towards the final fence with a lead of about six or seven lengths. Surely he's only got to jump this one to give John Morgan a live grand national hope. Up towards the final fence, he pops over it nicely, gets away from it well. It's going to be quite close for a second. The only one that's actually running on is Paul Parsons, Argyle Star. But it's going to be Stamper Land Hill who's going to take this one with a pretty emphatic 10 length victory. Argyle Star runs into second. Paul Parsons just looking. He's got himself a live Grand National contender in his first season. Then in third place is El Centro. Wonderful Blackjack Lord faded into fourth. Then Dark and Tribulation over the counter. And all the way back to Burt Brand who was some way adrift. And probably needs applauding for carrying on. But it's a 10 to 12 length victory for Stamford Land Hill. That one's got to charge the big guns at Aintree by the looks of things. Get a look at the full finishing order. They finished well strung out there. Stamper Land Hill for John Morgan, the winner. Argyle Star for Paul Parson, second. El Centro, wonderful for Vinnie Gerard, third. Blackjack Lord Jim Murray, fourth. And Dark and Tribulation for James Shea was fifth.